Everybody, and give me just a second. There we go. All right. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. And welcome back to Crimson Plays Assassin's Creed Murder Mondays, or whatever the fuck we decided to call it. Here's good old Connor, you know, doing that, doing his Connor thing. Sorry, I'm a little late. Um, let's. I decided to have a slow start this morning, basically. Let the blood run through the streets. But yes, hello. But yeah, I decided to have a slow start. Then I showered and all that stuff. And then I realized as I was turning on this, about to turn on the stream, I haven't eaten yet. So, um... <laughs> Bear with me as I be picking at a sandwich throughout the course of the game today. Ooh. All right, so swapping over because I don't really have any announcements or anything like that. And because Yvonne is responding, it, I'm assuming I sound good. Ooh, wrong thing. Nope. I want the DNA tracker. So as you can see, we're up to 94% syn uh, synchronization. <laughs> I tried to think of something clever using Benedict Arnold, and this was genuinely the only thing I could think of. But I did, as I typed it in, I was like, hit, hit, hit. Yvonne is going to feel targeted. But anyway, so 94% synchronization. We have 100% there, 100% there, 100% there, 100% there, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. Okay, and then, then the only two that we don't have 100% in are the uh, two that we haven't gotten to yet. Now, bonus missions. Complete Frontiersman's task. I have one task left to complete, and that is listen to all of Washington's conversations. And that will just have to happen in time. Um, I would have, you know, it, it just has to happen in time. That That's genuinely, genuinely it. Um, 100% in Boston. I, if you remember last week, I mentioned something about not realizing that there was a 100% thing for making these people full assassins, that I hadn't already done that. And, well, as you can see, I've done that now. I'll, I'll show you the actual other menu in a bit. Um, but, yeah, 100% there, 100% there, 100% here, 100% here, except for this one. The only thing left for this one will get uncovered when I actually progress through the next... Uh, main storyline sequence which we'll get to after we deal with benedict arnold 100 percent here 100 percent here 100 percent here 100 percent all throughout here 100 percent 100 percent this will progress in time 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent except for this one which will begin at some point after the battle of the Ch of the chesapeake 100% here, 100% here, 100% here, 100%, 100%. Now, as you can see in here, you'll note that I only have the Frontiersman missions here. Which, as I saw, as I said earlier, there's, I'm pointing, but uh, listen to all of Washington's conversations is the only one I have left to do. But also, if you remember last week, there were some West Point missions as well as some thief missions and 
Uh, there was the homestead thing where I had to scan each and every member of the pe person of the things doing certain art, uh, certain uh, uh, actions like three times of the homestead three times. I did that, completed all of that. The literally the only side mission thing I have left is that right there. Um, and as for these fellas, these peoples. Well, someone didn't have a good time, but uh, as you can see, I have completed all of these here, and oh, uh, rank eleven, assassin. Rank eleven, assassin. Rank eleven, assassin. Even though he's having a bad day, rank eleven, assassin. Rank eleven, assassin. Rank eleven, assassin. Boom, and that's all of it. All right. And now, back to Benedict Arnold. And I, I, I... Um, but what's... F Every time I run through a cornfield as Connor in this game, it makes me want to start singing the po uh, something from Pocahontas. Like, it's a problem. <laughs> Just be like, can you paint with all the colors of the wind? It's a problem. What's up, fellas? Don't mind me. Coming through. It's not. Yeah, no, let's. Yeah, like I said, it's a problem. Soldier. Soldier. Major General Arnold sent me to assist you. Yeah? All right, he's the boss. Escort the Patriot to the nearby military camp. Pick up. Thank goodness you're here. Doubt we could get all these crates down to the camp without you. You do not agree with this? You haven't allowed. We're meant to garrison West Point, and by extension, hold the Hudson. It's vital, no arguing that. So why is it we're shipping out half our powder and shot? Why not bring up your concern with Major General Arnold? I have. He threatened to have me court-martialed for insubordination and treason, if you can believe that. So I follow orders, no matter how absurd. So I'm going the wrong way. I didn't realize it. Oop, I didn't mean to throw that at the pig. I'm sorry, pig. That was uncalled for. Okay, now we're... Oh, okay. So I grab... I'm sorry. I grabbed the wrong crate. Literally, I grabbed the wrong crate. Okay, let's just... Because this is going to take forever, forever, otherwise. Oh, Yvonne, there's a message in um, Stabo chat that I would like you to reply to when you have a chance. Actually, hold on while I'm thinking about it. I do need to actually edit some settings on that Discord thing. Um, wrong thing. I'm, I'm looking for this. Um, there he is. 
There we go. Okay, so also, Yvonne, if you could uh, poke Howie and make sure that he uh, replies to that, too, when he gets a chance. Hey, friend, I'm not the real traitor. I could tell you who it is if you let me go. Sure. Listen, listen. Just turn your back for five seconds and you'll never see me again. I don't okay. want anything to do with this place. Connor. Okay, well... Listen, it won't let me turn my I back. I know you're just following orders, but things aren't what they seem around here. I'm telling you. Is it money you want? Because I got money. How much to set me free? Be quiet. Thank you. All right. All right, listen. I can fix this. Just give me a chance and I'll prove to you I'm a real patriot. I want this country as much as the next man. Just let me show you. That the traitor? It is. Major General Arnold will have further orders for you. Sounds good. Welcome aboard, milady. <laughs> okay. Okay, calm, calm down, bitch. Do 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 Thank you for the subscription! You big, beautiful bear, you. Ah, Connor. Just the man I wanted to see. Well done capturing the traitor, but I must ask more of you. There are some kegs of powder resting inside the fort. Bring them to the magazine. Dismissed. Yvonne, Yvonne makes you small. So, does that mean I make you big? Well, so much for keeping that one alive. Yeah, okay. That's fair. Uh, th the bonk is fair, too. If I pick this up, does this automatically make it... Uh, a, no, it doesn't. So then why did I suddenly get put into combat? What the hell? Did I get... Did I piss somebody off? Just by existing? Then again, I... The Connor is a person of color, so that absolutely tracks. Hmm. 
Look at that. Are you well? As well as I can be, given the circumstances. You? Same. But we're close. So very close. We need to talk about this someplace with fewer curious ears. Oh, shit. Has Clinton agreed? It is done. Only the matter of my compensation remains something of the utmost importance to me. Deliver this letter. Make absolutely sure he gets it. Please be cautious. A mistake at this stage will be unfortunate. When we come out on the other side of this thing, I'll make sure you're rewarded, Major Andre. Generously. <laughs> you mean John Anderson, sir? Yes. Yeah, I'm not down there, bruh. You bastard. Shit, where'd he go? Oh, he's right below me. Okay, good. Hey, look, red coats. Sir, sir. Make sure we're not followed. If anybody sees us, kill them. <laughs> you saw nothing. How did you see that? I was in cover. <laughs> Dead thing. Sir. Sir. Okay, fine. Make sure we're not followed. If anybody sees us, kill them. Far enough for you two. Keep a keen eye and come for me when you see the smoke. Yes, sir. We'll be waiting, Major Andre.
Oh, he's hiding from the... Okay, let me go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. Oh. Ooh, I needed that. Thank you for the stretch, Blue Cubby. Hydrating. All right. Let me complete those. <laughs> All right, Mr. Anderson. Where are you going, my friend? Gentlemen, I hope you belong to our party. What party? The lower party. We do. Good. I'm an officer in the British Army, and I must not be detained. I will chalk this mishap up to fatigue. But we ain't British, friend. And you are under arrest. Uh, that was merely a test, and you pass. I'm an officer of the Patriots, in truth. Here are my papers. Rubbish! Kill him and bring his head to the commander. No. Do not kill him. Search him instead. Blessed stars. His real name is Major Andre, and he's with the British. He Go carries figure. this letter on behalf of Major General Benedict Arnold. Arnold is our commanding officer. Bind Andre's hands immediately and bring him to Commander Washington. I will see to Arnold. Wrong way. Do 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 What's up, fellas? Hey, bitch face, what's up? What you got? The Battle of West Point. Connor, finished already. I have some more. Explain this. Well, I don't know what this is. A letter in your hand addressed to General Clinton of the British Army confirming the surrender of West Point for the sum of 20,000 pounds. This must be some sort of plot to expose the fort. I'm a patriot through and through, Connor. My actions at Saratoga speak to that, I'm sure. For your sake, I hope General Washington agrees. We'll be arriving here today. Regulars! Regulars! We're under attack! And there he goes. Form up! Form up! Arnold and Raven! That turn is hot! We secure... Okay, hold up. Um... How am I feeling today? Let's... Let's do pistols. Force, then we deal with Arnold. I... Push 
Want a body? Give me the weapon or not. I know this made it to the vulture. Secure the fort. Okay, hold on. All right, so <clears throat> curiosity to the viewers: what weapons should I use? What should my main weapon be? Fists? Should I steal a musket from them? Uh, should I use my hidden blade, the war tom the tomahawk? The, a knife, a battle sword, um, a proper sword, I mean, um, a boarding axe, a two-handed axe, or a, a, a Native American war club. Ugh. What do y'all think? Gun? So get a, get a musket from them? Is that what you think? Come on. I'll take that. Stand tall, man. We're holding. Damn it, no. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Ball, men. We'll hold you.
Get fucked. Rally to the flag! Come in! Push them back! Bitch. Yeah, fair, Connor. Connor. Arnold was behind this, but he escaped. If you did not catch him, nobody could have. West Point is secure, and Major Andre will hang for his crimes. And Arnold? We'll try to find him, though I have my doubts. Whom can we trust now, if Patriot heroes are betraying us? You reap what you sow. Ooh! Okay, where do I go now? Is that it for the Benedict Arnolds? At least for now? Okay, well then I guess I'm going back to New York, y'all. <clears throat> Fellas. There'll be an ad starting in about 10 minutes. So looking at it, I don't see any missions in here. Let's jump over to, let's uh, teleport over to Boston. Yeah, I don't see anything here. Jump back to the homestead. Actually, that's where the mission is. Let's jump to the frontier, shall we? Nope. Frontier. There we go. <clears throat> Let's go see if Washington has anything to say to us.
Probably not, if I'm honest. We see any missions? Doesn't seem to be. Give me my horse. Connor's horse do 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 Connor's horse do 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 Connor's horse do 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 Connor's horse So how are you doing down there Horace Wellington? You having a good day? Behaving yourself? Everything going good with the missus? Last we talked, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't going too well. She had you sleeping outside the stable. Oh, oh, okay. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Alright, do I see anything on the map here? Nope. Okay, so so that means he does not want to talk. Alright, have a good day. Thanks for the lurk. Lurk and lurk and lurk and lurk. Horse do 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 Connor's horse do 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 Connor's horse do 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 Connor's horse Achilles. Ooh, you kind of glitched there a little bit. How are you doing there, Achilles? Nah, I better not. <laughs> oh. He comes out to near where his family is buried. Five minutes till ad break. Sorry, just a second. Hey, Faulkner, what's up? Do you have any other naval missions? I didn't think so. The Battle of the Chesapeake. Ready the crew, Mr. Faulkner, heading to Chesapeake Bay. I don't know why the audio glitched there, but it did. September 5th, 1781. Lafayette promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without fear. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship and a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Mm -hmm. And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. What would you have me do? Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from Yorktown. Let's see what uh, bonus mission. No, not Admiral DeGrasse. No bonus mission currently. Okay. Herod 
Destroy three ships so. using only one broadside. Upon the sea. How many do you reckon? Too many. If anyone can hold the line, tis us. I only hope the Admiral's quick to return. Enemy approaching! All right, boys! Make ready for war! Looks like they're coming to say hello. Ready yourselves! Aye, aye! Yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to get the bonus. Because I have no idea how I'll be able to do that. Oh! There we go. There's the bonus. Lol. Well, she's breaking up. Put down the ship. Take care. Destroy frigates by power by firing on their powder stores. Okay. I will try. Sorry, I'm trying to get a run up on this thing so I can get a... Damn it, come on. There we go.
Boom! There we go. To victory! They will come. We must hold the bay until they do. Oh, this is madness. You're alone and we're without reinforcements. He lost his mind. Who's going to get us all killed? The ship is yours, Mr. Faulkner. Aye, what's left of her? <laughs> Me versus an entire fucking ship. Let's go. to kill five enemies. Come on. How many more do I have to do? Two more, okay. Ah, so kicking him overboard doesn't count. Okay, good to know. Come on, guys. Away from the edge, please. Four. Five. All right, there we go. A second Ugh, fuck my eye okay button okay that works
bastard. <laughs> Fair. Fair. <laughs> They say you took down that man of war all alone. Perhaps Lafayette did not exaggerate when he spoke of your abilities. As promised, my ships are yours to command. What do you require? Five of them must enter New York's harbor flying British flags. Wait, wait. I thought you might need some pirate killed or goods transported, and instead, you ask for us to... What, shell New York? No. Of course not. Ah. Only part of it. Explain yourself. I mean to infiltrate Fort George, but it is too well guarded. Cannon fire will breach its walls and scatter its guards. And a ship that flies the French flag could never get near it. You understand, then? Not at all. But a promise is a promise, even when made to a lunatic. Fair. I will light a signal fire when it is time for you to attack. Vous l'avez entendu. Récupérez leurs drapeaux qu'on puisse les accrocher. Allez, yeah. vite. All right. I need to run to the bathroom, so I will be right back.
Rose. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, sorry for making you wait, though. I had to run to the bathroom. Sorry about that. We just completed the Battle of Chesapeake. Hello, Gunners. Welcome back. Is everything in place? We oui. Lafayette waits for you inside the tunnel beneath the city. How dare I have bodily functions? I know, it's just, it's such a crime. I, I'm sorry, I apologize. You all deserve better than me, than that. Okay, so where am I going? Hold on just a second. I have to check something on my phone. Sorry, I'm checking to see if there's another, uh, if there's any more Benedict Arnold missions or if that was it. <clears throat> um, because of the fact that I have not played them before because they were not available on PC until the remake or remaster, <clears throat> which is what I'm currently playing. Oh, come on, load faster, please. I have people waiting on me. Okay, so that looks like that's the only those those are all the Benedict Arnold missions. Oh, not that but okay fine all right i think that's it for the benedict arnold mission so i'm not missing anything else so i can just you know power through the main storyline looks like hey kids but how are you doing rose if you're still here Look at these absolute badasses.
Sorry, sir. Hey, peoples. There's all my there's some of my assassins. They've all been helping out here. I can do it again. Miss Law, it's been quiet. Connor. This tunnel will take you into the military district. And the Admiral. He waits for you to light the signal. And then the strike begins. And we will be there as well. Remain undetected on the way to the signal fire. Reach the signal tower within the given time. Saw nothing. Yeah, that kind of went bad and wrong because I was rushing. I was rushing. It's on me. <clears throat> I had plenty of time to get there. I'm just rushing. It's fine. All right. Oh, there's a ladder right there. <laughs> Shush, 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 shush. Damn it. There we go. All right. So now then.
Actually, instead of that, let's do this. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. You see nothing. See? You see nothing. Nothing not here. See? Nothing. Nothing climbing your tower. You, you ain't seen shit. It's fine. Timing, Connor. We need to get inside the fort. Connor, you're not doing so good, my friend. I am in no condition to fight. Need to stay away from the guards. Where are you, Charles? Gone. Yeah. So much for. Oh! <sighs> Come now. You cannot hope to match me, Connor. All your skills, you are still but a boy with so much left to learn. Give me Lee! Impossible. He is the promise of a better future. The sheep need a shepherd. He has been dismissed and censured. He can do nothing for you now. A temporary setback. He will be restored. you have some right to judge uh, to declare me and mine wrong for the world uh, and yet everything i've shown you all i've said Surrender, and I will spare you. Brave words from a man about to die. You fare no better. <laughs> Even when your kind appears to triumph, still we rise again. And do you know why? It's because the Order is born of a realization. We require no creed, no indoctrination by desperate old men. All we need is that the world be as it is. This is why the Templars will never be destroyed. Don't think I have any intention of caressing your cheek and saying I was wrong. 
I will not weep and wonder what might have been. I'm sure you understand. Still, I'm proud of you in a way. You have shown great conviction, strength, courage. All noble qualities. I should have killed you long ago. We've got a problem. Hatham doesn't have the amulet anymore. But the temple's still sending data. There must be more to the story. Only one way to find out. How am I doing? I'm doing all right. How about you? Welcome back, by the way, Yvonne. Tired, but all right. Cool, cool, cool. My father is dead. Charles Lee now leads the Templar Order in his place. I see now why ours is an eternal war. For each piece taken from the board, another is placed upon it. Back and forth we go, across the world, across the ages. Some days mine feels an impossible task, but I cannot afford to be consumed with doubt. The people need me, <clears throat> now more than ever. I must stop the Templars. I will kill Charles Lee. Okay. So, before we do much more... I have to pee again, uh, <laughs> so I'll be right back. And then when we get back, I will teleport over to the homestead and we will take care of the side missions before we uh, push to the end. BRB, y'all. <laughs> Actually, first, before we do that, because it did say I have an email now, let us leave the animus. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. And yes, it was fast because I just had to pee. From Rebecca Crane, I'm scared. What if we don't find the key? What if we do, but we're running out of time? What if whatever's down here doesn't work? I mean, what's changed? The first sieve tried to <clears throat> tried to save themselves and failed, and this place is shut down and sealed up. Doesn't really feel like the sort of place we're going to find the answers to all our problems. Doesn't help that the people who brought us here are missing. I'm just worried that, uh, I'm just worried this isn't going to work. I don't want to die. Oh, Rebecca. Apology from Juno. 
Forgive my outbursts. It has been a long time. I have been alone in this place for too long. Waiting, hoping. Soon you will see all I have promised. Only hurry and find the key. Restore power to this place. Um, the outburst she's referring to is this uh, message that she sent uh, before in which she says that she essentially killed Minerva and Tinia by throwing their disc their discs that saved their brains into uh the abyss so that that's why they're not there to help when they were the two that led us here all right any conversation oh. okay or we can go back into the animus that's not what i wanted i wanted to go back and talk try to talk to rebecca but oh well yeah 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 no leave the animus <laughs> Do, 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 do. You got anything to say, Rebecca? No? Okay. How about you, dear old dad? No? Okay. Sean! You never stop talking. Do you have anything to say? Nope. Okay. Well, back to the Animus we go. Do, do. Do, 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 do. Balance and chips and so the balance shifts. Okay. Now, before I do this, I am going to can't quick travel. Can I leave the mission? I can restart the memory. So I have to do this. Ugh. Okay, fine. We gather today to remember a man of peerless vision who sought to change the world. And change the world he did. Look around. Even now, the British prepare to retreat. Their spirits broken. Their forces splintered. The Patriot leadership shall soon follow. Either into our service or into the... He sent me away. That day. At Fort George. He feared for my safety. I should have stayed. He said there was no danger. He was wrong. I will kill you, Connor. This I swear. Not here, though. Not today. No. First... First, I'll destroy all you hold dear. I'll burn that homestead of yours to the ground and roast the seven heads of your precious founding fathers in its flames. And when I finish with them, all the rest will burn as well. Your merry band of assassins, the human refuse that lives on your land, your village and its people, all of it, gone. You can try, Charles. But as with all your schemes, this too will end in failure. Get him on his feet. He will wait. He will watch. And then, when he's seen all his life's work brought to ruin, only then will I allow him to die. Take him away.
Where is Charles Lee gone? The harbor. To catch a ferry. Fast travel now. No? Okay. Fine. I will, however, get on the horse. To make sure any bonus missions nope Only kill kill less than three regulars. Okay. Be undetected. Oh, fuck me. <sighs> Don't mind me, push on the wrong button. Sorry, just a second. Okay.
There we go. I believe these men meet the requirements. You believe incorrectly. They're sick and weak. We're looking to build an army, not fill an almshouse. It will take months to get them into fighting shape. We don't have the time. No, please. We'll do anything you want. Anything. Only take us with you. Quiet, well. Your merchandise is useless to us. Perhaps we should discuss this back in my cabin. Don't worry about me, man. Damn it. He worried about me. Sorry, I decided I should refill my, uh... I'm sorry to have disappointed. As you should be. For us to have come all this way for nothing. Tell me now why I shouldn't have you thrown into the sea. No need to be rash. Only give me a little more time. I'll scour the other ships if I must. I'm certain there are prisoners who will meet your needs. Very well. You have two days. Thank you. Present yourself to the Green Dragon Tavern in Boston with the men you've chosen. We shall meet you there along with our master. I have to kill the captain and escape open conflict. Okay. This man needs to stop exploring here, please. Okay, so... Oh, shit. Hi. Uh-oh. Let's just drop down here. No. Oh. You guys see nothing. Stop exploring. It's fine. There's nobody here. It's just your imagination. It's just your imagination. It's okay. Go away. Go away. There you go. Please tell me I didn't just fail that. Okay, good. Fuck. There's open conflict. Last checkpoint, please. Okay. Wait, one button. Damn it, I missed. Come on. Nope. Damn it. 
Damn it! Dude walked right in front of it! Fuck me! There we go. Oh, he counts as a regular kill. Ugh. Fuck it. I do not want to have to redo this whole this memory outside of stream, so I'm just going to do it now. I'm really close to the end of the game anyway, so I might as well get it right now, you know? Like for real, let me let me open the not the training program. DNA tracker. We are here. So that's, you know. All right. We gather today to remember a man of fearless vision who sought to change the world. And change the world he did. Look around. Even now, the British prepare to retreat. I will be skid skipping broke. the cutscenes because Their we already saw. Splinter. Hey guys, the watch Patriot out. Leadership Coming through. Shall soon fall. Either into and skip. Oh. Where is Charles Lee gone? The harbor. To catch Harry. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk. When do I ever say anything damning? There you go. An ad starts in about a minute and a half. Well, minute 15 seconds.
speed run. You believe incorrectly. They're sick and weak. We're looking to build an army, not fill an arms house. It will take months to get them into fighting shape. We don't have the time. No, please. We'll do anything you want. Anything. Only take us with you. Quiet, well. Your merchandise is useless to us. Perhaps we should discuss this back in my cabin. Stuck on the fucking um, scenery. Gonna squeeze on by here. Oh, don't mind me. Just gonna squeeze on by. Sorry to have disappointed. As you should be. For us to have come all this way for nothing. Tell me now why I shouldn't have you thrown into the sea. Can you give me a little more time? I'll scour the other ships if I must. I'm certain there are prisoners who will meet your need. Very well. You have two days. Thank you. Present yourself to the Green Dragon Tavern in Boston with the men you've chosen. We shall meet you there along with our master. Hey, Yvonne, you said you were still listening. Um, do me a favor. Could you look to see if the Green Dragon Tavern was a real place and if it still exists in Boston? Assuming you can hear me through the ads. Them. No, go away, HMS Jersey. I want my... DNA tracker. I did, though! I did, though! Okay, thank you for checking. Apparently, I didn't kill the captain fast enough before I left. I didn't make sure he died before I jumped off the ship. Fine. We gather today to remember a man uh... of fearless vision who sought to change the world. And change the world he did. Look around. Even now, the British prepare to retreat. Their spirits broken. Their forces splintered. The Patriot leadership shall soon follow. Either into our service.
Sacred Heart coming running. Thank you, Dolby. Alright, let's... Follow an assassin horse. Come on, saddlebags? No saddlebags, okay. Fine. Start a riot. Start a riot. Start a riot. Cool. Is the new building, is the new building on top of where the old building was? Or did they move locations and then demolish the old building? Different location. Still in the Boston area, I'm assuming, though. Cool, cool, cool. It would be pretty interesting to see it, you know? Wait, what? What? Waiting. Still waiting. Ooh, okay. No, it's fine. It's not important enough for voice chat. So it is on the same location, just on a whole new building. Okay. Cool. Don't mind me, just coming by. All right, lay down. Damn it. Yeah. The one guard who fucking looks down <laughs> in Assassin's Creed. <clears throat> Thanks for looking that up, Yvonne. If anybody watching is unfamiliar with Yvonne, you should familiarize yourselves with Yvonne because she is an amazing person, an amazing streamer, and is much more popular than I am, so go check her out. You believe incorrectly. They're they sick will and leave weak. Me to leave. We're looking to build an army, not fill an arms house. It would take months to get them into fighting shape. We don't have the time. No, please. We'll do anything you want. Anything. Only take us with you. What? Well. Your merchandise is useless to us. Perhaps we should discuss this back in my cabin. Oh. Hi. Turn away now. Please.
Y'all didn't see anything. I'm sorry to have disappointed. As you should be. For us to have come all this way for nothing. Tell me now why I shouldn't have you thrown into the sea. No need to be rash. Only give me a little more. I'll shower the other ships if I must. I'm certain there are prisoners who will meet. Okay, how am I doing on my on my objectives? Okay. Very well. You have two days. Thank you. Present yourself to the Green Dragon Tavern in Boston with the men you've chosen. We shall meet you there along with our master. Okay, now make sure he dies. Okay, and now yeet. There we go. <laughs> I will be right back again. that y'all now just to confirm yay 100% okay okay now I do remember seeing a notification that there is a uh, new email out there so I'm gonna check the email just real quick because we're getting really close to the end Here we go. Uh, okay, so we read that one. We read that one from Sean. Good news, bad news. Which would you like first? Oh, this is a group message with Desmond, William, and uh, Rebecca and Sean. Not really the time for this. Christmas cheer into these otherwise dour proceedings. The good news is that far as I can tell, the eye... Abstergo launch has been postponed permanently with Vidic de dead thanks to our dear Desmond and the Apple of Eden still safely in our possession. There's no way they you know, that they'll make their date. Uh, I suppose there is always the chance they'll manage to retrieve another apple and start the whole process over. But all of our intel says they've got no leads. We are safe from that particular threat, at least for now. The bad news is that we've got less than 48 hours to open the temple doors. Whatever's meant to happen on the 21st, and it's likely a whole lot worse than I Abstergo, I think we'd all very much like to ensure it doesn't. Yes. Okay. Who in here wanna start a riot? By the way, if anybody watching is Critical Role, are fans of Critical Role, um, you should, you may already be aware, but if not, just in case, if not, um, the, uh, th this week is the seven year anniversary of Critical Role. Exciting. All right. We have Homestead Mission over here. You need to help me. What's you up, Lyle? Your leg, that much I can promise you. But honor, I simply can't get to all these men in reasonable time. I need help from you, from anyone. I think I have someone for you.
Diana, come with me. I need your help. Of course. What's the matter? Dr. White is overwhelmed and needs some extra hands. I'm no doctor, Connor. Maybe not. But I have seen you care for people before. You have the way of it. She's got a good bedside manner, he says. Diana, perfect. I'm told you have a healer's hand. Please see to this young man. Connor, if you could help the two gentlemen out front. Thanks, Skip. Good of you to help. I should be all right. So these must be people who are injured from the Battle of Chess... Uh, crewmen of mine who are injured from the Battle of Chesapeake Bay. Many thanks, Captain. That's a spot better, sir. Thanks. <laughs> Connor just Connor reset that guy's arm. In the shoulder. Bad luck. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Yeah. <laughs> Connor, your bedside manner has has a little bit to a little bit of uh, room. It happens. Thanks, Skipper. You, you, Connor, you could use a little bit more of a bedside manner, my friend. You did well, Connor. But Diana, you impressed me greatly. W well, thank you, Doctor. I haven't studied the practice or anything. Maybe not, but your instincts are superb, and you have a healer's touch. If you had the time, I would be grateful for your help on a more regular basis. Might be Catherine could watch the young ones a few days a week. And if she can't, we'll find someone who will. Aww. He's got a nurse now. All right, give me just a second. He can now craft level three medications. Score. All right. I need to get back home. Home, home on the stead, where the people and stuff all happens. Oh, sorry, sir. Almost slammed into you. Home, home on the homestead. Ooh, conversation. Oop, wrong button. Oop. Oh, excuse me there. Just gonna squeeze right past you. Good day, Connor. Hello, Dr. White. Diana? Hello there, Connor. Diana and I were just having a look over our equipment and facilities. They've seen a great deal of use in the last few days. So things have turned for the better. Better than it ever was in Boston. I was missing my apprentice when things first exploded, but now I have Diana. She is better than he was in every respect. And are you happy, Diana? I never thought this would be my path, but now that I'm here, I admit it feels right. Fair. It'd be like that sometimes. Ooh, more conversations. Ooh. Go to the pub, yo!
One day, Doc, one day, you'll find one too. She'll come wandering into the village and light up your life. Mark my words, I'm telling you. I have a sense for these things. Might be, might be. Ahoy, Connor! Look at us. Three bachelors waiting for love, or waiting for a drink. Whatever comes first. <laughs> drink wins! <laughs> Women will be lining up for you, Doc. I'm telling you. Ladies love a healer. It's me that stoomed. Who wants to marry a woodworker, eh? Who? Nobody is who. Hogwash. You brought the folding chair to the Americas. You're a pioneer, an entrepreneur. Women appreciate a man with vision. <laughs> what about you, Connor? How is it a man like you has no wife? I would not be a good husband. I have not the time to give. One day, perhaps. Well, we know he does eventually have family because otherwise Desmond would not be a descendant of his. Um, however, in my experience, women like men who know how to handle their own wood. I've also had a very limited experience, to be fair. To be fair. Okay, I see no other uh, conversation. <laughs> Weren't you going to lay down, Yvonne? Achilles. Old man. Achilles. We know he wasn't well because he had a nurse who was caring for him and the like. So we know we know he wasn't well. Yeah, I know. I know. I have to go give Father Timothy the news. What is it? Achilles has passed. I'm so sorry. He passed peacefully and with dignity. A service then? Yes. Please prepare something appropriate. I will see the grave is dug. Can you gather everyone? Achilles, a, a, um, canonically. If you are reading this, 
I had failed to say goodbye as I wanted, but the time never seemed appropriate. I leave this land and all its resources to you. I trust you now know this place has become something of great significance. A community to serve as an example of what this hey, would-be nation could become. But yeah, the you're right, just in time. the stronger it grows, the more fragile and difficult to defend it becomes. I hope your friends who are birthing this infant country understand this truth. Your unwavering tenacity and honesty have burdened you with responsibility far greater than any one man should bear. But you, if anyone, are capable. You have given an old man hope that all is not lost. And for that, I thank you. I ask that you lay my bones to rest on the hill overlooking the water. There is no other place on this earth I'd rather be. I am grateful to have met you, knowing you will guide this land and these people to a better future. Yours in brotherhood Ach Achilles I don't know why it cut off the end there prayer and sermon do not suit this occasion Achilles was not a man of God not my God at any rate but he certainly believed in a guiding force and he is at peace now and for that we can be grateful we lay him to rest here atop the bluff where he made his honorable and dignified life so he can remain that comforting presence the old man on the hill that we have all grown to depend on you all had your own relationships with him your own moments and i implore you to return here when the time is right for you and share those stories with the waves and the trees achilles you will be missed but never forgotten. Go safely, old man. Safely to where your soul need rest. Buried him next to his wife and son. He lived to see the end of Haytham Kenway, the traitor to the Order. I will make you proud, old man. And instead of a flower, he give, he leaves a feather. Oh. And yeah, Desi. But yeah, Desi, welcome. Good timing. Uh, we're actually near, very, very near the end of the game. Very, very near. I have one main mission left. Okay. Yeah, you came in on the sadness. We have one more Achilles mission for the homestead. And then that's everything. A 
it's time to put the painting on, above the mantle. Achilles, his wife, and son. He has experienced so much loss in his life. But there's a point, speaking from experience in this, there is a point where loss and death become your friend and they're familiar. You still feel the sadness, you feel still feel the pain, but you're much more accepting, uh, much more easily accepting of it. Now, before we go up, before we go out there and do the uh, couple of interactive conversations that I see, um, <clears throat> Achilles's room. Uh, let's go do some poking around upstairs, because I have not really done a tour of the upstairs since I completed everything. So let's start our, start off in Connor's room. We have the uh, hunting uh, hunting uh, mem uh, trophies up here. All the different special hunting mission trophies. Then, uh, see what's on here again. The brewery memento, uh, memento um, for infiltrating church's compound. M his mother memento. Are those the only two mementos right here? Yeah. Okay. Um, And in here we have newspapers of all the major events. Paul Revere's Ride, etc., etc., etc. Battle of Bunker Hill, Declaration of Independence, Valley Forge, Battle of Monmouth, Battle of Chesapeake, and all the way back to the Boston Massacre. And then here's all the poor Richard's Almanacs that we completed. That's a way to access the uh, uh, database. And here's the invention room. The room where we keep all of the uh, inventions that we craft from the uh, Richard's Almanac. That's uh, the Watt Steam Engine. The Glass Harmonica. The Orrery. Or the busybody, the Leyden jar, the Franklin stove, electrostat the electrostatic generator, Joseph Priestley's soda apparatus, the kite and key. And in here we have the private the privateer memento for completing every uh, privateer contract. The New York Liberation con uh, memento for completing all the New York Liberation missions. The naval painting for completing all of the uh, naval missions involving uh, Church. What's his face? Church, Nathaniel Church, or whatever his name was. The map of the ba of the Battle of Chesapeake. For completing the Battle of the Chesapeake. Another privateer memento for completing every contract. The Boston Liberation memento. Uh, let's see here. Scale model of the Aquila. 
gotten for completing the Captain Ki uh, the Captain Kids treasure missions. The Robinson tea chest for the tea party. The first expedition uh, painting for completing the first expedition mission. Hunting Society Memento for completing the hunt all the Hunting Society missions. Thieves Club for completing all of the Thieves Club challenges. The Art of Conversation for engaging in an ambient conversation with the Lumberjacks' wives. There's a few missing things. Brawler's Memento uh, for completing all of the Boston Brawler missions. Ship Shape for purchasing all the ship upgrades for the Aquila. As you can see, there's three things missing here. I don't remember what they are. I'll look them up in a second. And then we have Friends at High Places for recruit for training all recruits to Assassin rank. Place called Home for upgrading the homestead. For exploring all of New York. Exploring all of Boston. Uh, completing all of Kids Treasure missions at 100% synchronization. Um, front exploring all the frontier. Uh, for liberating all of the forts, and that's all of those. So there are three plates missing. Let me quickly look those up. You'll be back in a bit. All right, take your time. Um, what am I looking for? ASAP mementos three plates. Okay, so one of those plates is for completing all of the sequences with 100%. Uh, do I have the Spoils of War? I don't think I do. Um... Okay, so no, I don't have that one. All right. So I need to complete the game at 100% synchronization. I need to attack 10 convoys. Uh, easy enough. Um, Oh, one of the I bet one of them is the uh yeah, okay. So I'm missing two plates here, one of which is the Battle of Convoys and the uh, complete 100% completion, then I'm missing one here which is um the Frontiersman thing, which I completely forgot about. All right. So, yeah. So yeah. Um that will be what I'm doing next before I complete the actual game. Um Attacking convoys is not going to be too boring or or anything like that. Never properly said goodbye to you. I was not ready. So here I am. The weight of my responsibilities never seems to diminish. There is always something else that needs fighting for. This is something you never warned me of. Maybe because you thought I would have been deterred. You would have been wrong, but I know... You were not accustomed to that. Life carries on here. The people seem happy. They are certainly safe, at least for now. One of my brotherhood asked me something I have been struggling with. What happens if 
when we win, when we stop the Templars. It is a question I certainly do not know the answer to. Perhaps you did not either. I miss you, as I miss my mother. I hope all is well with you, wherever you are. Goodbye, old man. Until it comes time for me to join you, then I will bother you once again. <laughs> Aww. So, Vaughn, if you heard that, which I hope you did, hopefully that answers your question about how Connor's feeling and things like that at this point. Hopefully that helps and it clarify thing Connor's side of things a little bit. But yeah, the earliest in the game that you can that you can unlock the Achilles death scenes are is where I'm at currently because that final um that one final Achilles won't die until all the other homestead missions are done. And um so you know, there's that one homestead mission where that does not happen until after the battle of the Chesapeake. So at earliest, Achilles does not die until after you've already killed Hatham. So Achilles, who was plagued constantly, <laughs> yeah, but completion plus the story. Also, the homestead missions are where you get a lot of Connor's character development. I'll, and I'll talk to that in a, I'll talk on that in a second, but um, because that's one of the big problems with this game, and I'll get to that in a second. But um, Hatham plagued the hell out of Achilles's life. Achilles was the um, the master assassin of the um, col colony's uh, brotherhood um, he, from a young age. He had. Um, he had everybody, he had, like, they were strong, you know, we'll see this in a later game, they were strong, but Hatham shows up and starts plaguing the fuck out of them, and Achilles, in his desperation to defeat Hatham, makes some very rash decisions. I won't say too much because spoilers for a future game. But he makes some very rash decisions, which leads, ultimately, directly leads to the eradication of the Colonial Brotherhood, leaving Achilles, literally Achilles, the only assassin standing. And during that same stretch of time is when his son and wife die. I, from... I forget what, but I think an illness. And so Achilles hit some really rough desperation spots. And he ends up living to see the death of Hatham. Canonically. Which I did not remember that being the case. I knew that Hatham, not Hatham, I knew that Achilles died. Because I first time I played that, I'd gotten that the case. I just hadn't thought about the timeline of when that happened, you know? Um, and I I really like the touch that ha that Achilles outlives Hatham, not by long, but by enough. I just really like that touch. As for not doing the homestead missions, that is a very valid way, just like it's a very valid way to, you know, not do any side missions in any game. It's not my preference, but it is valid. Now, I will say one thing that this game did poorly initially. 
when this game was initially released, the original version of it, they changed some things about it for the remaster to make it a bit more flexible. But um, when this game first came out, if like it was stuck to a rigid timeline if you if you did not take the second do the homestead mission when it was right in front of you you would miss it forever like you would have to start the game over and go and go back through it and so many people who played assassin's creed 3 back in the day missed them because they're like, oh, I'll do the main storyline first, then I'll do the side missions. Because that's how a lot of people have played ga play games. How, and, and that would not be a problem for the game if a very good portion of the Homestead missions was where Connor's character development was. The Homestead missions are where you see Connor be more than just this angry, violent, vengeful-seeking individual. And you don't you genuinely do not see that outside of the Homestead missions. You see it a little bit, a little bit. Like there's a little bit there, a little bit there. But if you just follow the main storyline missions, you miss so much of Con Connor's character. And that is why, back when this game first came out, everybody shat on Connor as being a horrible character, especially following Ezio of the Torre. Because, no, because those people were like, I'm going to do the main storylines. And, the, and then they wouldn't be able to go back and do the side mission, so they'd think, oh, I didn't miss anything. But there's my DNA tracker. It's not filled. What the hell? You know? It's... And so, like, it was this whole big controversy, controversial thing. and But the reason why a lot of people did not realize that Connor was a deep and meaningful and very well-written character was because of, the mis of that mistake with the Homestead missions. It's incredibly annoying, especially because this game is so amazing. It is so underrated. And part of the problem is that, one... It had a, has, still has, a lot of control issues. They've tweaked things a bit, so it's much better in the, uh, in the remaster. Like, that's why I wanted to do the remaster, because I, I knew that they would have, it would be better and much less, an, uh, much less annoying and frustrating to control. But the original Assassin's Creed 3, like, you could very easily, very easily be telling him to do the correct thing on the controls, but him do something else entirely like because of because of how situational a lot of the command controls button schemes are and things like that so so there was a lot of control and user interface issues but on and there was a lot of graphical issues because the graphics were not as good as they should have been for the year that this came out comparatively and then on top of that, there was, they tried to do that thing where with the homestead missions that I talked about. But also they had an exploration thing. Here, I'll just pull up the map real quick. They had this exploration thing. Let me pop over to the to the frontier here. Alright, so you see how much of oops, so you see how much of the map is explored here. Like, this is the 100 percent explored map of the frontier. 100% explored. There are no sections of this map that cannot be that can be explored that I have not explored. Like I mean, maybe a little bit of the water here, but like for the like the strongest portion of it, you know, for the most part, like 99% here. Normally in Assassin's Creed games, when you get a viewpoint, it opens a very large portion of the map, if not like a whole last thing. In this game, they relegated all viewpoints to a very specific circumference, a much more realistically sized circumference of map exploration, which resulted in the frontier map only ever possibly being fully explored manually. And the same thing true with Boston and New York. If you only did the viewpoints, you'd get these big spheres that sometimes overlapped but most of the time didn't and then most of the maps being completely unexplored 
like I get why they did why they did that because they were like a little bit more realistic, you know, and it encourages people to explore this environment that we worked really hard on recreating. Like I get it. I do genuinely get it. But it's just then you are doing a lot a lot of running around filling in the map so that you can actually see where you're going. And if you don't have the map filled in, there's a lot of Side, there's a lot of other side missions and interactable things and events like that that you don't part that you can't participate in because they're not on your map and it's genuinely a problem which is why when i was streaming this i made sure not only to not ex uh, not only to explore it not on stream but to make sure that i explored as much as i could early on so that I wouldn't have to worry about that, as you know, throughout the course of the stream. Now, those are two problems, and then there's the homestead thing. And with that in mind, you end up with, if you just stick to the main storyline and all of those pr other problems... You have a very flat, angry, vengeful character who does not seek reason, who does not see reason, necessarily, versus um, the very charismatic Haytham Kenway. And then on top of that, you have the control, the, uh, the user interface issues, the graphical issues, and the um exploration things and the various things like that i can easily see why people did not like this game when it came out and it's one of the reasons why i'm so glad that they fixed the things that they did in the remaster because while it's still not perfect it's not like it's a remake they did the best they could they updated some of the graphics they made it look a little bit prettier uh, the controls have been tweaked somewhat so that the user interface is a bit a bit more intuitive and a bit better. Um, it's still got problems, as you've seen throughout my stream, but it's uh, still a bit better. And then there's also the fact that the Homestead missions, they make sure you can fucking see those things on your map. Because they fucking, like, they will show up regardless of whether you've had the map explored or not, they will have a yellow outline and they will absolutely make sure that you see them. Whereas before, they didn't have that yellow outline and they were easily...
Connor. Skipping the main, the main uh, conversation. I'm just going to follow you around until you talk to me. Talk to me. Please. Here comes the general. Talk to me. Talk to me. I'm giving up on you. General. General. Hold on a second. One moment. Okay, so there is actually one mish one conversation after I complete the game. Okay, so then I won't worry about it until I've completed the game. All right. So I thought I'd done all of the conversations, but maybe apparently not, um, unless there's uh, unless the one in New York at the we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see. Okay. So I have to complete the game. All right. Do we have anything in New York while I'm here? I don't think so. I checked the frontier. I checked the homestead. New Boston. To the window. To the wall. Okay. Now then. Oops. Okay, now that's actually what I wanted to do. Okay. Pardon me, fellas. having my time wasted stop that oh, don't don't make me call the guards make a sound and you die <clears throat> what do you want <clears throat> he's in the harbor at the long pier most likely we heard what happened at the parade Charles got all nervous said he was leaving the country I thought it was overreacting I guess not no <sighs> Thank you. Get fucked. <laughs> Thirsty, I take it? What's wrong with taking a draft or two when the time's right? Nothing, Jamie. Nothing. Then why don't you join me then? Not right now. Maybe later. I suppose you got important business to attend to. I understand. Don't worry about me, though. I can handle my booze. If you need me, I'll be there, Connor. 
Oh. Hey, Connor. Taking it easy today? Things got a little out of hand the last time you saw me. Keeping an even keel. Good. Where are you from? Here. Born and raised, but I'm a mutt, if that's what you're really asking. I think I even got a little of the Far East in my blood. That's what my father said, wherever that bastard got off to. What about your mother? She's down south. Haven't seen her in five years or so. She works on a plantation, keeping care of the slaves. <laughs> slaves. That's why I left. Can't support that business. Owning a human isn't something any man should do. She doesn't agree, so I leave her to it. I make my life up here now. I'm an assassin. This is my family. All right. Don't mind me, I'm just going to teleport around and see if, if any of my other guys have um, conversations they want to have. Oh, I'm in a memory, right. Let's um, exit the memory. God, I was in a memory. Okay, so I'm going to be popping around different bars. Um, here, okay, so I do have one down here. Uh, let's, let's go up here first. They don't all want to talk all the time, so there may not be anything. This, you know, may just be a, you know, exercise in futility. Hello, my friend. Ah, Connor. Sit, sit. How are you, Jacob? Missing the beer gardens back home. But I'm well. How did you arrive in the colony? Like most other men like me, the army. I was a Hessian for a time. It was a good job while I had it. I only felt it was time for something different once I arrived. Not long after, I am meeting you. So it seems my feeling was useful, no? Certainly. I am hoping to send for my family when the time is right. But we are fighting a war of our own. And I will not put them at risk. Fair. Hopefully, things will die down soon. No rush, Connor. I am in their hearts, and they are in mine. I received a letter from home. What news? My son is the strongest boy in our village. Standing tall and proud. My heart grows heavy for them now. And my patience wanes for bringing them across the ocean. I have sent money for passage, war or no war. We will keep them safe from the fighting when they arrive. I am having no doubts about this. My worry is now of the crossing itself. Many miles overland to a port in France. There they must be purchasing safe passage aboard a ship coming to the colonies. Then they must brave the voyage itself. Many risks. Your son can lead them. You said yourself he is strong and capable. My son? Ha! No matter how strong he grows, he will never be as strong as my wife. Wilhelmina is the most able person I have ever met. Wilhelmina. That's a him. name. It is more matters of fortune that trouble oh. me. Storm. Stand down, pirates. sir. There you go. These are things none can control. But I am sure if pirates try and take their ship, Wilhelmina and your boy will make the brigands rue their decision. <laughs> yes. Yes, you're right. <laughs> Alright, that's it from him. Hello. Okay, right. and now we teleport down here. Intruder window.
Meow. Meow. Oh, wrong button. I'll take it, but wrong button. Here we go. Toby! Toby, my, my gal. How'd you do, Connor? I am all right. And you? It's nice to be a part of something. Until now, I was sort of drifting about the neighborhood, getting irate when I saw things I thought unjust. Sometimes I'd intervene. Other times, I would come here. Now, I feel like all my energy's pointed at something. I am grateful to have your help. How did you come to be... you? <laughs> Funny question, but I get your meaning. I was an orphan. Pretty common around the ports with all the sailors and whores mucking about. I wanted to be out on my own, so I did what I had to do. That's when I decided to pretend to be a boy. That worked for a time, until nature decided otherwise and it just became a bad joke. Folks around the borough Fair. still called me Dobby, but the old codgers started leering and getting fresh. That's when I got tough. Took a good many shots to the face before I learned to defend myself properly. But now I dare any man to come at me. They learn the price quick. I love her. Hello, Dobby. Connor, you look well. I have been better. Do you ever sleep? I really don't know how you do it. I try not to think about it. A strong <laughs> man. Stronger than any I've ever met. How is it a man like you has no wife? I do not have the time to give a woman what she deserves. Perhaps when all this is over, I will be able to settle and have a family. I hope. Oh, of all the lecherous and deceitful men out there who are fathers, you'd be a godsend. But I suppose that's how it is. The good ones are too busy for it, and the louts have nothing better to do. In any case... If you ever think it's time, make sure I get the first crack. Hmm. I promise. Yo! <laughs> I forgot about that conversation, though! <laughs> I love Dobby. I remembered shipping them. I forgot they'd had that conversation, though. Oh, man. I ship the I still ship the hell out of it like forever. <laughs> All right. Uh I don't see any Let me just pop in here and make sure that they're actually not just not showing up. Hey, he does want to talk. Thirsty, I take it. What's wrong with thinking oh, we're just a drop having this conversation again. Right. Okay. Thirsty, I take it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's just that same conversation. All right. Oh, I have to leave the building and then teleport. Uh, fine. Okay.
Interesting. Apparently, hold on, hold on. Let's 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 see, let's see. We shall see, because New York didn't have any of those still showing up. So let's um, let's see why the, if they're still showing up in Boston for a reason. Pardon me. Coming through. Ah, there's Stefan. Okay, so no, he doesn't want to talk. Okay, so it's just it's just a thing that they're marked. Okay. Doesn't hurt to check. Alright. As a note, I will absolutely be finishing this game tonight. However, there's still DLC that I will need to that I will want to do. Um, before I start this mission properly, I will be right back. I have to go pee.
Sorry about that, y'all. Okay. Actually, actually, I just realized something, or just remembered something. When we completed that homestead mission, the Achilles dies one. We unlocked a thing that I forgot to look at. Into the secret basement, please. Achilles' original outfit. The outfit that Achilles wore when he was young. Wow, there are wings embroidered onto the hood. That is amazing. Hey, Yvonne, are you still listening? Uh, should I end the game wearing Achilles' original outfit? Or should I wear the main canon, uh, canonical Connors outfit? Wear, w end it wearing Achilles' outfit? Okay. And that is what I will do. It's only right. All right. Back to Boston we go. Justice! Okay, so I started to say something, then I then I ran to the bathroom and forgot to finish my thought. Um, we already saw this conversation, so I'm going to skip it. But um, the uh, there is a large DLC series of events that takes place after the main section of the game uh, called the Tyranny of King Washington. And some have considered it to not be canon. However, it is canon, and there are connections to it. Complicated. We'll see. Um, and I, I do intend on playing it. I will not be doing it today. Uh, that it will be the next Assassin's Creed stream. That's what I do through that. Um. So probably what I'll do. So that'll probably be uh, next week, assuming no, I'm not forgetting that something's coming. Uh, something is on Monday next week. Um, 
But yeah, I will finish the main game today. If we have time before six, although I'm kind of stalling, so we won't necessarily have time. Um, I will do the uh, one of the mementos things and go attack some uh, go attack some stuff for uh, completion uh, for uh, memento completionism's sake. But so that's my plan. If I don't have time to do it, uh, do the uh, convoy stuff today during the stream, I will do it. Um, I will do it over the week. And uh, kitty, um, and we will uh focus on the main storyline. Oh, wrong, wrong pier. Um. The main storyline stuff tonight. I sh I don't remember how long the Tyranny of King Washington will take. It will probably be done. That'll probably take me one stream. I would be surprised if it took me longer than one stream. Um. Shit, did I pass it again? No, I didn't. I'm not quite there yet. Okay. Do not shove anyone during the chase. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I've not shoved anybody. Them shoving me does not count. Do not take any fire damage. Easier said than done.
They share a drink. Six months later. These people have all left. Why there's would the, they leave this behind? There's the weird piece of Eden that showed him his vision way back when. by those who I thought would protect them. It is a trade, a sacrifice, and not in vain. For you have found it. This? Now you must hide it, where none shall think to look. And then in time, in time, what once was shall be again. I do not understand. Nor need you. Only do as we ask. Then you may do as you wish. But what of my people? No, not just you. You have saved this place, as was your people's purpose. And I've been wanting to shank most. Juno since 2012 at, at latest. Never be enough. You strive for that which does not exist. Still, you have made a difference, and you will do so again. Remember, you must hide the amulet where none might find it. Well, oh, there goes that piece of Eden. Now for the one hanging on my neck. Forty eight to fifty five.
that um seven years I think or nine fifty one fifty uh, yeah seven years Achilles' son Connor Davenport was seven years old when he died and Connor's burying the uh, necklace with him I know where the key is then let's go. This is it. We're right behind you. Well, let me check my email first. I'm going to check my email first. <laughs> Forgive my outbursts. Good news, bad news, good news. Thing again. Okay. Well, let me just go back into the Animus. No? Damn. Okay, fine, guys. I guess it's time that we, uh... bring an end to this. I'll be right back. <laughs> Not me procrastinating. <laughs> Okay, fine, let's do this. Moment of truth.
Here, at last. You know our story now. Of how we tried. Of how we failed. All our hopes extinguished. Save one. Your touch. A spark. A spark to save the world. Wait! Minerva! Do not touch the pedestal. Minerva? You. But how? You left. You destroyed the device. Did you think there was only one? What the hell is going on here? You must not free her. Free her? Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. While we worked to save the world, she sought instead to conquer it. She used our machines to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations is to tame time. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us. But she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it. And then we left. But first, we called to you, that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her gone. Now I see we were deceived. She survived, she endured, and then she began to work. For centuries, Tinia and I walked the world, hoping to rekindle the spark of civilization. We shared what we knew as best we could. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought, still death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries. And so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. But he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. If you heed Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and Spit fire into the sky. All the world will burn. But this does not end the world. Merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. Then you emerge, resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again. You will become a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination. You will inspire them to rebuild, to thrive once more. And as the world heals, so too will humanity. But you are just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory, a legacy. You will be remembered first as a hero, later as a legend, and in time, as a god. It is the cruelest fate. To have written words that meant well, and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see, that what was shall be again. So tell me, how is this better? She would sacrifice you. Sacrifice the world for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? To ensure more than just your race's future, but its freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them, and you'd see it all return. Enough! You must not do this. Whatever Juno's planning, however terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way to stop it. But the alternative, what you want, 
There's no hope there. If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen in an instant. There will be no pain. You mustn't. It's done, Minerva. The decision's made. Then the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and to die with. You need to go. All of you. Now. Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us. We'll find another way. There isn't time. Son. You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do this now. So go. Go! Some sort of global aurora borealis. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. Residents are being asked to remain inside and wait for geological surveys are now reporting seismic activity throughout the Ring of Fire. Northeastern Canada is said to be experiencing the largest... On record, satellites and transformers are failing as the flare increases in intensity. Worldwide reports of blackouts and seems to be receding. Residual seismic and volcanic activity is being reported, but nothing approaching earlier levels. Obviously, it will be a while before experts are able to assess the full extent of the damage caused by today's event. But it appears the worst is behind us. We'll be sure to bring you more as this story develops. It is done. The world is saved. You played your part well, Desmond. But now, now it's time that I played mine. Still waiting for Ubisoft to let us shank Juno. So yeah, that was the main storyline of Assassin's Creed 3. Obviously, I have a little bit of cleaning up here and there to do for pure 100% completion. I have the 10 convoys thing that I'll do over the course of the week. Um, I have the... Uh... Actually, that's really it. Um, I Oh, the Washington Conversations. Uh, Washington Conversations, uh, convoy thing, um, and... Uh... Then I have, um, does the Tyranny of King Washington to do. Um, and Tyranny of King Washington will be next week's stream. Most likely all of it, if not multiple. Um, but it'll be my focus. Um, and then, uh... Um, 
Yeah, probably what I'll do tonight is I will make, uh, I will, after we finish the credits, um, I don't want to just skip because th there might be something more in there. I don't remember. Um, the, uh, as we finish the credits, after we finish the credits, we'll, uh, run and quickly have that conversation with Washington. Um... Oh, excuse me. And then when we're done with Tyranny of King Washington, we'll be moving on to the next one in the series. Assassin's Creed 4. Um, we'll go back to Connor's grandfather, the father of Hatham. See how the Kenways get into the assassins business and so on and so forth um, and then uh, actually no we won't ha I forgot no we won't be going into Ken uh, into Kenway next we'll be going into Assassin's Creed Liberation which I totally forgot. I totally forgot about it. I'm mad I forgot about it because it's because uh, it has one of my favorite assassins in it, Avalinda Grand Prix. Probably butchering that name, but um, yeah. So that's what we'll start after we finish the tyranny of King Washington. I'm an assassin. What? Might need more words there, Rose. I am an assassin. I mean, uh, I don't possibly know what you're talking about. I couldn't possibly know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, I have, I have no idea what you're talking about. It's, um, it's, uh, I couldn't possibly, I couldn't possibly know. Oh, <laughs> proceeds to hit myself in the face. <laughs> uh. Man, the soundtrack is killer, but I know that if I let it play, then Ubisoft will just get pissy at me in copyright. So that's why I'm on big screen right now. You're so glad you caught that? Fair. Clip it. Too lazy? Fair. Not in the special thanks section, so you'd think you'd think it would be soon. <laughs> but for real though, like thank you to every single person work who worked on this game, both in the process of remastering it and in the original creation of it. Y'all did an amazing job. Despite the criticisms. She is. Intentionally. However, they refuse to allow any kind of proper conclusion to their storylines in actual games. Everything that's conclusion happens outside of... Uh, outside of the games in books and comics and shit like that. I'm a little salty because I really want to be the one to physically punch Juno in the face a thousand times before impaling her with a hidden blade. 
I also would very much, very, very, very much love to continue taking on the, uh, the Templars in the modern day. But, you know. Apparently people don't like the modern day storyline of Assassin's Creed. And, the, and you know what those people are? Those people are wrong. Uh, what game is next? Um, it will be Assassin's Creed Liberation. Um, which is, which takes place around the same time that 3 does chronologically. Um, and, uh, is our first introduction to methods outside of the animus of memories and things like that. Um, it's also our first official playable, uh, femme, um, liberation, no breathing. <laughs> um... It's also our first introduction to a femme playable, a playable femme assassin. Um, and a woman of color to be, uh, to, to boot. Um, but that won't be for another couple of weeks because there's still DLC for this game that I'm planning on playing. Um, I have a couple of loose ends that I need to tie up for 100% completion. Um, Connor still needs to have a conversation with Washington that's not available until after you beat the game. Um, and then there's some other completionism stuff that I want to get done. Um, but then there's, uh, the tyranny of King Washington, which is canon. Even though it technically takes place in an alternate reality, there's a lot of aspects of it that are canon to the storyline. Um, well, get your rest. Get your rest. Resting is important. Um, but, yeah. Hopefully next week I'll be able to get the Tyranny of King Washington done in one sitting. Um, we'll see for sure. Um, and then... Uh, whoa, what? 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 Hospital what? What? Hospital? What? Oh! Did I know this? I feel like I knew this. Did I know this? Yeah, okay, I think I knew. Um, I'm gonna message you on Discord real quick. Um, just to confirm. Yvonne, check Discord. Check my Discord, my general pop Discord. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Uh, congratulations on that and then good luck.
But, uh, but yeah. Next week will be Tyranny of King Washington. And then hopefully the week after that will be Lib Assassin's Creed Liberation. Um, we shall see. It depends on how long it takes me to complete Tyranny of King Washington. But that's the plan. Uh, I can think of some several pretty bad jobs, but what is the worst job ever? Other than being me. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha ha. Ah ha. What? What? Are you telling me that you... Th okay. Okay. Who would want to trade lives with me? I will not have you talking bad about my friend, okay? <laughs> okay? I have the worst job ever, and I know that because nobody would want to take my job, and that is nobody would want to be me. <sighs> You're so, so no, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do this. I'm just gonna go now. Okay, bye. <laughs> I win. I win. <laughs> Proceeds to block Yvonne from joining the stream chat and punching me. <laughs> <laughs> She keeps promising to do me violence and unalive me, but she keeps not following through. I have done everything except for hand her the knife and ask her to her face. Yvonne, keep your promises. No, but she says she's going to. Why stab me with the necklace when she could just strangle me with it? Because it's funnier. Fair! I'm going to go ahead and run a three minute ad. You know what? I'm going to. I'm absolutely going to run and, and go catch that ad. So I'll be right back.
Other sounds? What other sounds? Other music? No? If you were, it wasn't coming from my stream, I don't think. Because it literally will only play the one, uh, the... No? It's possible. Um, because this is background music, the, uh, I have more than just the three that I normally have playing. I have the whole album going. So it may just be that you're hearing music that's not the... Not, not the three that you're used to. But I will add a marker to check later to confirm. Because I have no other music going except for the game, and that's muted in OBS. Alright, this has been going long enough. If there was going to be another ad, they would have had it long before now. Or not an ad, but another uh, scene. All right. So. Nothing here. Oh. Why is there a mission in New York? Actually, I know exactly why there's a mission in New York, but... Yes, I would like to fast travel to this location.
There is a main mission up here in uh, the old village. Hello? If you're hungry, have extra. No, thank you. Where is everyone? Uh, gone west. Been a while since they left. Seems some fella from New York was granted the land by Congress. Of course what? they were. Seeing it happen more and more. Government says they don't take land that's already owned, but... Uh... <laughs> How could this have happened? We're on our own now. No more merry English parks and labor. Which means we gotta go at it ourselves. Gotta pay for it too. Selling land is quick and easy. Not quite so nasty as taxes. And since some say they're what started the old war, ain't no rush to bring them back. <laughs> Clever men, these new leaders of ours. They know not to push it just yet. Too soon for taxes. Too... British. Thank you. Be safe. Yes. Absolutely infuriating. All right, to Boston. Actually, wait, I didn't check the map. Was there other things? Boston we go. Use you, game. Look at all these different hacks that have been unlocked. Completionism. Go away. All right. Now let's try again. No. Fine. All right. So mission over here. Um, on the way, I want to swing by here. We see a W anyway. There's a W. Uh, let's go do this first. <laughs> Hello there. Here comes the general. Connor. Commander. 
It's good to see you. You have what you set out for. What will you do with it? A fair question. But if truth be told, I do not know. Men with far greater minds than mine will build this country's foundation. A task I am simply not equipped for. Have you played bocce before? I'm really growing quite fond of it. I think I'll have a green belt at Mount Vernon when I return. All that death and sacrifice and you mean to leave the important tasks to better men while you play games? I might have expected it. Connor, whether you think you are capable or worthy of the task, after the things you have done to ensure this outcome, you should not have the luxury of peace. Okay, no, he just wants to play the game, so... Yes, I will lose, and that's okay. Alright, so did that complete the stuff? It did not. Oh, visit every tavern in the frontier in New York and Boston. Okay. Easy enough. Alright. So... A second. Caverns, counter shops. Yes, they do counter shops. Okay. Oops. All right. Uh, get out of the hey, Con Connor. No, no. I have now visited this tavern. Um, this one. The New York. Come on. Why won't you let me? Uh, fuck it, I'm fine. Uh, can I just like quick travel over there? Is there a quick travel spot near it? No, there's not. Okay. Well, then, in that case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. That's fair. <laughs> That's not what I was intending on doing, but it's fair. That's a fair reaction. Hi, horse. Sorry. That was my bad. It's trying to reload. <laughs> This one's been visited. Next. Okay, so I've ended that one. There's one down here. Please. 
Jetzt. Is there a quick travel spot near this? There is. That's not what I wanted. There you go. We're doing a pub crawl, y'all. Okay, so I've done that one. That one. This one. Let's do this one. Black Horse Tavern. Okay. Alright, so check, 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 check. This one's probably the green dragon up here. That looks like the last one in Boston. Or New York. Where am I in New York? I'm in New York. So, yeah, that looks like the last one in New York. So not Boston. So not the Green Dragon. <clears throat> Pardon me, coming through. Me. Um, head over to Boston. Start down here. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. All right. So, Tavern One, Two. One, two, three, four taverns in Boston. Okay. Dry goods, bees, salt, and other sponges available in Boston. One, two.
three. Well, not three, but soon to be three. All right, so that's two. Now this is the green dragon, which I know I've been in multiple times, but I'm still gonna do it for completionism's sake, just in case it decides that it decides it wants to have a problem. Take your time. Technically, I don't even need to really do this on stream. Because we did the Washington conversation. Oops, which was the important thing I wanted to do. But. <clears throat> In theory, this won't take long. So just to be clear, that is, oops, wrong thing. All of the taverns in Boston. Yep, okay. That just leaves the frontier. So how many taverns are here? There's one, two, three, four. So there's three up here, and then there's one all the way down there. Okay. All right, we'll hit these three, and then we'll run for the one. Th run for the one that's all the way down. Welcome back. Hey, Dobey. There you are, Dobey. He's the B A E Dobey. Ah, ha, ha, ha. All right, so. Thirsty, I take it? What's wrong with taking a draft or two when the time's right? Nothing, Jamie. Nothing. I don't... Don't run me that. Not right now. Maybe later. I suppose you got important business. Yes, I have important business. Then you're taking my time. Okay, so that's one. That's two. One more. Get on the horse. Wait, what's... Oh, is that a, um, yeah, okay.
Okay. Oh, I can fast travel to the fort. Good. Because uh, I was not looking forward to having to run all my, my ass all the way out there. Well, it's currently unavailable, but because I'm inside a building. But, well, loading screen, I mean. Pardon me, fellas, coming through. There we go. All right. One hundred percent. All right. I do still want to. I do still have a couple of challenges to complete that are that don't count towards synchronization. Uh, namely, there's a thing that wants me to attack uh, ten caravans and things like that. It can wait. Um, does not need to happen. Uh, convoys, not caravans. Not caravans. Does not need to happen on stream. Um. And as I said, next week will be the le the the uh, tyranny of King Washington. And then after I complete that, we have Assassin's Creed Liberation remastered, um, like this. I'm excited. But anyway, thank you all for joining me as I've, you know, finished off this game. Uh, this game is one of my top favorites of the Assassin's Creed series. Um, I know I'm pretty much al pretty alone in the in the in that opinion, but I'm okay with that. Um, but uh, yeah. Check out these amazing people up here at the top. Link tree down below with my Patreon and Discord, social medias, all the places you can follow me to get more information and check out things and hang out with me and say hi. Um, check out these amazing people up here, including Yvonne B and Phoenix Rose, uh, who've been in the chat. Um, and beyond that, I'll see you all next time. Tomorrow for Tomb Raider. We're starting Tomb Raider The Last Revelation tomorrow. I'm excited. Um, and I will see you all next time. Remember to have empathy, be kind, love yourselves, and love everyone around you. Later, y'all.